<laughs> it's poison. <laughs> not really. It's not poison. Doesn't that look cool? That looks really cool. Woo! <laughs> I'm running out of evil laughs. Hey guys, Ray Pahar from Get Crafty Crafty, and don't worry, today we are not making poison. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this really cool Jolly Rancher Skull Candy Apple. That's actually a lot to say. This is a fun fall treat that you can make that is a cool spin on your regular candied apple. Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include access to a hot plate or a stove, a candy thermometer, a small bowl, some red apples, two small pots, some red watermelon Jolly Ranchers, some pointed wooden dowels, cupcake lining, a small heavy duty Ziploc bag, some white chocolate chips or some white candy melts, and some red and blue food coloring. First, de-stem all of your apples. You wanna make sure that there's no stem in your apple. After washing and drying your apples, Take your wooden dowels and stick them about halfway into your apple. Next, you're going to create a double boil to melt your white chocolate. Take one of your pots, fill it with water, take your bowl, place it on top, and then once the water starts to boil and heat up, pour in your white chocolate candy melts and mix it until it's smooth. Once your white chocolate has melted and is smooth, let it cool down for a few minutes and then place it into your Ziploc bag. Take your Ziploc bag and make a very tiny cut at the tip of it so that it becomes a piping bag. To create the face of your apples, what you're gonna do first is create two circles and then an upside down heart for the nose. Do this to all of your apples. To create the mouth of your apple, all you have to do is draw four lines at the bottom, going up and down, to make it look kind of like slime dripping from your apple. And then continue to do that around your apple until you get back to the beginning. To fill the rest of your skull, create a circle at the top of your skull and then loosely fill the rest of your skull with some white chocolate. For this next step, you could either use a wooden dowel or if you don't mind getting messy, use your fingers to spread out the white chocolate. Make sure you wash your hands before doing this. This creates a nice slimy looking texture on your candied apple. Once you spread out your chocolate, go ahead and add an additional layer of white chocolate around the sockets. This will allow your eye sockets to actually stick out for this project. Go ahead and refrigerate these for about 20 minutes. While your apples are chilling, you're now going to create the Jolly Rancher drip for your candied apples. Combine a quarter cup of water, and something that I forgot to mention earlier on the ingredient list is you're also gonna need a quarter cup of light cornstarch. Add that to your hot pot, and also add about four drops of red food coloring. And just to give it a little bit of a dark color, add one drop of blue. And then add tw about 25 Jolly Ranchers. If you don't have Jolly Ranchers, you can go ahead and just use about half a cup of sugar. Go ahead and combine all these ingredients together. It's gonna take some time for your food coloring, your Jolly Ranchers, your water, and your corn syrup to actually mix together. Depending on your hot plate or your heat source, you wanna keep it at either a warm or a low temperature so that the mixture can get up to soft crack stage, which is about 285 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure when you're using your candy thermometer, you avoid it touching the bottom so that the thermometer gets an accurate reading and doesn't break. Once your Jolly Rancher drizzle has cooled down to a syrup-like consistency, I added a few extra drops of red food coloring just to make it a little more blood-like. Take your apples and using a fork, go ahead and drizzle your Jolly Rancher drizzle on top of the candy skulls. I usually start by drizzling a good amount of the Jolly Rancher onto the top to secure the stick into the apple. And then from there, I just put it all over the apple just to give it that slimy, gooey effect. 
Uh, depending on what you want to do, you can either add a lot or a little. Keep in mind that the Jolly Ranchers are actually going to harden once it cools down. Go ahead and apply this to all of your apples. Once you've applied the Jolly Rancher drizzle onto your apple, you can add a little cupcake tray to the bottom of it so that you could actually move these around and not worry too much about the Jolly Rancher drizzle getting everywhere. You also want to refrigerate these for about 20 minutes so that the Jolly Rancher shell can chill. Uh, you also want to make sure that you eat these within the next day or so, just because once you penetrate the apple, it starts to open and oxidize. Make sure you guys check out all the other fun projects that we did this month with our Halloween theme. If you make this project or any of those other projects, make sure you share it on our social mediums, either on my Facebook page, on my Twitter, or on Instagram using the Get Crafty Crafty hashtag. I hope you guys have a great Halloween, whether you're dressing up or you're just gonna have fun eating and making all these sweet treats. Thanks again for watching and come back next time. Take care.